Let's absolutely see if we can swing one to the fences at the end of the day. I think that's it, that's the end of the video. I don't know if I can even beat that. Get going. Boom, flew into the fence. That is how you start a Tour Truck Tuesday. What was that in the driver? A brand new golf shaft that I've been testing. I swear I will not beat that. 2700 at an 11 degree launch. That basically means full send and you could see the apex right down our street lamp that I aim for. But I bring you this with caution. Right there is my Acra TZ6 that I've been using since Moses was a small boy with no reason to change. So why have you dived into this? Is it purely because it says tour only on it and you got sucked into that? No, come on guys, give me more credit than that. I have been around these tour trucks forever. I simply know when something is good and I need to try it. What is this golf shaft? Well, it's not even got a name yet. It's a KBS prototype. This is Cat5. The way they do their stuff, Cat5, five cat six they base it on speed the higher the cat the more speed you have but it has a higher modulus tip section what, what does that mean a higher modulus tip section let me tell you a little bit about graphite shafts when it comes through to graphite and it comes through to changing it there are flags and wraps that they can put on at certain directions to change so the tip section having that higher modulus which is graphite fiber in relation to resin in relation to glue by having it stiffer here, it's designed for quicker swing speeds. So if I hammer one like that and give you the 115 club speed, this puppy's gonna stay with me. So all jokes aside, that's why I started this video on the launch monitor, down there ripping one as hard as I could to show you that it stays with you. If you are gonna make a shaft change, which I don't press you to do, like I said, I've been in that for a long time. If you're gonna make a change, you want to make sure that the swing weight is where it needs to be. But it's your balance point. You've got a 14 inch fulcrum point and it's how the golf club balances to the shaft. If you get it wrong, if you go putting your mate shaft into your driver, it feels pony for the pure reason that you don't have the swing weight where it needs to be. So if you get the swing weight right, then you're in a room and a place where you can work on getting the club to be right. But if you don't get it in two or three shots, the balance is not where it needs to be for you. I had to make the head weight heavier in this driver in order to cope for the swing weight that it should be at. Yeah, we know it's great on a full rip, giving us 310 out of that. But what about if I want to hit a smoother one or a bit of shape? So here we go, a little fade up the left and just peels off the left. I mean, that again is exactly what I want that golf club to do. It's hit the deck, it's spun at 2,900. That's the spin rate I want because it was squeezed. It's given me a lower launch. It's given me a path of minus four, an attack of down two. Again, I've got a previous video that'll explain full swing kit launch monitor detail, so check that out. But when the club is doing what you want it to do, then I don't see any reason why you shouldn't check it out. I saw this shaft being used in a video that I fit someone for, and that is where, honestly, it caught my eye. I like graphics that are cylindrical. It has nothing to do with the design, but if I then can put my loft sleeve in whatever position I want, I'm not getting offended by the graphics. From there, test your slam shot, of course. Test your cutty one, if that's the one you like to play when you go to under pressure. And just work through the numbers, making sure that if it's a toe miss or a heel miss, it gives you the spin rates that you want. Always try and have a reason for the shot you're trying to hit. Providing the spin rates are where you want them, then you should know that you're in a decent club for you. Little heel strike, good flight, drifted off to the right done exactly what I want again club stayed in there spin rate on that little cut only at 27 so again it's where I want it let's see if I can just turn one over just to end this video exactly how it should be come on trotster show us what you got little draw down our tour aim there you go flat over the top draw gave me what I wanted hugging that left side giving me the numbers that I want and spun at 2300 so it was enough albeit it wasn't the purest of hits but you can sense for the video that it's doing exactly what I want it to do here totaling at 280. So there's your call out when you go testing driver shafts learn a bit about the shaft that you're getting for me it's the modulus the tip section being a bit stiffer we understand the graphite has gone in certain directions and made up of a different 
resin to graphite fiber ratio, graphite fiber ratio that then gives you that. But on the same note, it becomes something that after a few shots, if it can straight compare to your gamer, then it's worth standing there and hitting a few more. I'm gonna stay here and do just that to finish my practice session. If you like what you're seeing, hit that notification, hit that subscribe. Until next Tour Truck Tuesday, there's a link down below to check out KBS Golf Shafts. This is one that's caught my eye. I absolutely love it. It's called a prototype right now. Who knows what they'll bring it out as in the future, but keep your eyes peeled. It's one to check out. Yeah.